Well, hello to all and welcome to your day of June 21st on into and through the, no, I'm sorry, 20th to the 21st of June, Spiritual Guidance Reading. I'm Josie Kay, your spiritual cheerleader, and this is the Sacred Traveler's Deck by Denise Lynn. So, dear Lord, spirit guides and angels, please bless whoever needs to hear this information most with clearly defined messages regarding the 20, 20th and 21st of June of 2024. View from above. Someone here is receiving some form of wisdom and knowledge and you're starting to see things from a bigger picture or you're focusing too much on the little things and you're slowing the energy from developing. Keep an open mind. Yes, in the thoughts position, we have gratitude. Uh, Spirit was talking about gratitude back, I want to say, between maybe the 10th and the 14th of June. So as things start to unfold for you now from the 20th or during the 20th to the 21st of June, Spirit saying, remember to give thanks to Spirit or others who have helped you see this bigger picture. In the relationship sector to another or others, we have the mystic healer energy. So just like we talked about maybe a month ago, as these wonderful things start to unfold here, there's going to be this strong ability to heal and release uh, negative connections. Yeah, in the creative aspects position, we now have take action with passion. We had been seeing the two of wands quite frequently where there were decisions between one or two wands representing home, family, business, or passion. Now there's this courage. Instead of where there was stagnancy, now we're spirit saying we're giving you the courage to now take action with gratitude as your joy expands, as you heal and release all that used to be. <clears throat> I feel like somebody may be traveling and seeing some form of castle or a business that you've always wanted to go into the direction of, learn more about. In the actions position, yeah, so it feels like I am, I'm feeling the 20th and the 21st of June that there's this whole expansion of your horizon developing and spirits giving you the courage to uh, celebrate it. Emotionally, we have enjoy the journey, exactly. So as you wander this path ahead, remain uh, focused on the big picture. Watch these things unfold with gratitude and know that Spirit's giving you the courage to expand your horizons in some way. <clears throat> so we had the home card in the center of the reading. We have had a lot of Page of Pentacles energies where there are opportunities of abundance, communication, um, and so on coming in, um, in the area of home or business. In the subconscious position, we have someone here shouting out to the heavens with happiness. Spirit saying, as you wander this new journey, um, embrace the enthusiastic energies that are unfolding. It's almost like every little thing that starts to unfold here. Uh, embrace it uh, with enthusiasm. Passion and pleasure. My goodness, in the day-to-day -day aspects position. So from the 20th to the 21st, spirits again saying, savor the pleasure and the joy of the journey that is unfolding. Shout to the heavens with happiness and gratefulness. Um, know that as you expand your journey, um, you will be able to heal and release. And that's kind of what I think she's doing. Releasing and healing um, experiences that made someone here grow. In the inner strengths position, we have watching clouds. So, you know, it's like take a view from a bigger picture, lie back, rest, and watch. Spirit's got your back and they're expanding your horizons. And as there's a call to action, spirit saying, just enjoy the journey. Spirit is offering up beautiful new chapters for the collective, uh, whether they're ready or not here. I just heard, ready or not, here I come. Okay, so three card summary. Desert passage, breaking trail, wise leader, perfect. So yeah, there's this process of cleaning, healing, releasing, forgiving, and so on. Uh, going with the flow, trusting in spirit, maybe taking a sea salt bath. Um, but yeah, trust in the divine plan that's unfolding. 
there's a passage by which the collective has stepped upon here. And Spirit's saying uh, there is beauty that lies beyond the surface that you cannot yet see. But you'll notice during the 20th and 21st that there are, is support uh, unfolding all around you. Yeah, there's this awareness here. Uh, that someone has broken a trail, right? I have broken through and now I'm savoring my life. I'm shouting, shouting to the heavens. I am beginning this new cycle. So there's this awareness of the light, of the happiness, of the sun, which has been in the emotional aspects position quite frequently. Yeah. Clear, release, and heal the past. So it's really, really important to allow healing energy to flow through you so the happiness can come into the space that was dark. Yeah, there's this realization that you are overcoming obstacles and now you're kind of going with the flow. You are transforming. You are rising. After sitting in solitude, it's time to clear the air and move on. It's time to step into this position of a wise leader. So for those of you who have been wanting to care, give, provide, guide others, uh, you're going to recognize that you are a beacon, that someone has seen you in this transition, this doorway opening. And for some, you're going to have to pack up and travel, expand, or yeah, you're going to be seen by others. Groundedness, walk in the beauty as you're, walk in beauty as you are cherished by your angels. Success is expanding, your light is shining brightly. Keep on moving forward. Take this risk, take this venture. The time is now. Simplify your life, tread slowly. Take your time. So someone is going to actually be stepping into this beautiful energy and uh, feeling like you can now um, lead something. All right, let's confirm and clarify these messages. And to do so, I'm going to bring in the, oops, no wonder I couldn't fit my cards over here. They go over here. Okay, this card traveled across. They keep talking about the Ten of Wands. Whatever weighs heavy upon you, it is the end. The 10 is dissipating. There's now manifestation of the number one, right? 10 is one plus zero. One is a new beginning. Sphere is helping for the collective to start to see the big picture and that when um, the time comes to expand to take action with passion and enjoy the journey okay so we've been talking forever about when these things will come and like i said in the month of june it's a number six month spirit is trying to bring in harmony and victory in every way. So again, this is the Tarot of Dreams deck by Lee Burstyn. Please confirm and clarify the messages we have previously discussed in this circle spread for the collective from the 20th into and through the 21st of June of 2024. Yeah, so there's this message. Uh, Spirit's actually giving the collective the strength in the inner strengths position to sit back, rest, and relax, okay? Uh, they usually tell us that right before something big is going to take place. Yeah, eventually there is going to be some form of awareness of a bigger picture here after some time of re rest, time of rest. Yeah, so it's really, really important that you rest because things are going to speed up here. In the thoughts position, we have the judgment card. So decision time. Spirit saying after a time of rest, and we're giving you the strength to do this. Um... A decision is coming to mind that is going to require some form of action. In the relationship sector to another or others, <clears throat> there are some who are recognizing an ace of swords, but are indecisive about which decision to choose. So this could be trying to decipher a truth of sorts or feeling like there is a difficult decision that you cannot make. So this could be with a business, an organization, a more successful direction. But Spirit's saying it's time to heal and move on. If you are wondering if you're feeling stuck, forgive and release. And in the creative aspects position, have faith that there is going to come this call to action. Take action 
with passion and have faith in the horizons that are unfolding. This could be happening for some who have Leo in their chart with the strength card and or this is just spirit in the actions position offering up great strength to travel or expand your horizons in some way. Have faith and trust that even though something may feel like a difficult decision, spirit's giving you the strength to expand. In the emotional aspects position, see, there could be someone here who has strong fire in their chart, Sag, Aries, or Leo, spirit saying, trust uh, that it's a time to rest if you're indecisive, to have faith, uh, to know that eventually you could expand in some way in your life. Um, yeah, I feel the King of Wands energy, whether you're fire or not, Sag, Aries, or Leo, this is someone who is setting a meeting goals daily that is very passionate about what they are doing that has turned their life into a well-oiled machine and now they are literally expanding through their actions and yeah there but there's some healing or indecision in the relationship sector in the subconscious position we have many that will be shouting to the heavens with happiness because of some form of good news in the area of money. I've worked hard. I'm finding the strength now to expand, to grow, to evolve in some way. I'm starting to recognize the big picture because of this good news. It just feels like it's a hard decision to make. But Spirit is helping me with the judgment card and the thoughts position and the faith card to take action with faith to take action with passion, to be grateful and thankful for that which is unfolding. So there could be someone here in a leadership position who is offering up an opportunity that's going to call for a decision, and there's just a message from Spirit saying, have faith as you take action. It is time to expand your horizons. So in the day-to-day -day aspects position, we've got the Pisces energy of the moon, a message of hope, lie back rest and relax for eventually you will be making a decision and shouting to the heavens with happiness enjoy the journey that's unfolding hope and faith is what are what is manifesting this opportunity to expand and as it does give thanks to spirit in the inner strengths position we have some form of communication uh, wands representing home family business or a passionate connection Someone is, uh, I think, receiving an opportunity to expand, um, I think, closer to the 21st, if not the 22nd, which is the full moon in June. So there's a view from above taking place. It's a message of hope and faith to trust that spirit saying as you await this exciting news, wander the path, enjoy the journey, and trust that what's unfolding is a big picture of expansion here. It's like someone has evolved and um, yeah, it's time to rise above. Three card summary. We got the Queen of Wands, a Death card, and the Seven of Swords. This reminds me of one uh, video we talked about maybe around the 12th to the 14th. We've got uh, someone who is maybe has air in their chart, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. Yeah, I feel like someone is indecisive about that energy and communication of money or just someone who's in a leadership position who's very clear and to the point who is looking at this passionate feminine. Interesting. We do have the uh, Queen of Wands and the King of Wands in the relate, uh, emotional aspects position. So if you both have a lot of strong fire in your chart, Sag, Aries, or Leo, uh, you could be receiving news about or from a business or organization that makes your connection grow stronger. It's like, thank goodness, I continue to take action and now my horizons are expanding. I was working and working and working with the magician energy and I wasn't feeling like I had enough or I was making enough or I was successful enough. But Spirit's saying at some point we're going to give you a gift from the universe, a full cup of peace, joy, and happiness, and then you can go away from um, this. Then you can release and heal. There we go. Wish fulfillment in the area of a home, business, organization, something more abundant. 
transformation and change inching ever closer so at some point and i do feel like now this could be i'm just gonna say during the june june of 20th to the 21st there is this energy of gratitude and a need to make a decision uh, I think it's going to be an easy decision, a light at the end of the tunnel when it comes to what you've been working towards or looking for in the area of money, finance, career, creativity, a long-term traditional relationship. The, the death card is here to say, again, uh, old paths are ending and new paths are beginning that are going to last the long term. So what you've been working towards is opening a doorway where you can expand your horizons. There's some form of exciting news coming in and Spirit's just saying we're giving you the strength to lie back, rest, and wait for it. <laughs> Look at that. The high priestess and the hanging man. So there could be two people waiting for some good news. Um, the high priestess is uh, more of an energy of I'm going to continue to take action to plant these seeds and I'm trusting through signs and synchronicities that eventually uh, I'll know exactly what action step to take. I'm going to uh, keep my mind open to what ebbs and flows in my life here um, and know that eventually, boom, here comes that popular star card. There's going to be wish fulfillment and a call to take some form of action. But there's a lot of courage here that Spirit's offering. Yep. Good news is coming in, and then that puts the collective in the energy of the Five of Wands. Uh, I'm conflicted now that the good news has come about what action steps to take. What should I do? And that's why Spirit in the Actions position is offering up the Strength card. The strength to expand your horizons and go into the direction of a brand new path. Yep, someone's coming in, and there's going to be great potential. Uh, a realization that uh, someone has grown and evolved emotionally. They're very, very kind. Oh, wandering the path and enjoying the journey, maybe again with Sagittarius type energy, but just maintaining emotional balance as you continue to create a home or business situation for yourself. Slowly but surely, they're saying justice will turn in your favor and then will come this attention and recognition, the ending of a long and difficult path and uh, a new path with the Fool and the Two of Cups. I'm moving forward in a connection that I know is blessed, bringing things the past, okay, to a successful completion. I think also if people are making bad decisions, this is a time of self-reflection. In this number eight year of the infinity symbol, we're going to have to really look at, am I going to repeat unhealthy patterns, behaviors, or cycles? Or am I going to rise above those and negative people, people making bad decisions? Uh, yes, spirit saying we're gonna give you the strength to heal, to release, uh, to you know, if someone unexpectedly comes towards you and causes a state of confusion, spirits saying they're just going to come exciting communication that's going to lead you in a completely different direction. So someone may be surprising you. They may see that you are starting to grow and they're going to want to get some information. Yeah, look at Page of Swords. I'm, someone's watching this uh, person with the Nine of Coins energy uh, creating great stability and security for themselves. Passion, feeling stuck or trapped in a situation. So maybe thinking like you're stuck and you can't go into the direction of communicating with a Gemini. Trying to see if there, ooh, there's an offer of abundance and money coming from a business or organization. And that's what the expansion of one's horizon, some form of good news is coming in. Regarding business. Now, I do see like exciting news or communication, maybe passionate communication coming in from a Leo. And you're thinking about traveling into the direction of them. But it all comes down to making the right decisions. Yeah, go with the flow. For you are giving birth to a foundation that is blessed. Keep on keeping on. Yeah, I feel like... Um, some may be questioning their relationship, fearing that they're not going to be successful, and then something transpires that's very good here, and it shifts the direction into a more stable and secure partnership. Professionally or personally, there are two people coming together that are going to manifest um, a horizon of abundance and a life that they truly enjoy. 
All right, so I'm going to confirm and close with the Guardian Angel deck by Dorian Virtue. The time to expand is near. Have hope and faith that when the time comes, you will be taking action with passion and enjoying the journey. Shout to the heavens with happiness and give thanks. So there's a little bit of going within, right? They're talking about rest and relaxation. They're talking about the Four of Swords, waiting to see things from a bigger picture. Uh, people are going to feel extremely intuitive, especially around the 20th of June. Um, and many wonderful insights are going to come to mind. Slowly but surely, you're going to start to see a bigger picture as you observe uh, the world around you. Take time. Uh, to be quiet and to reflect upon the desires of your heart through meditation or prayer. For there is no need to take action. Be patient with yourself. Someone's very, very indecisive about, uh, you know, will what I'm working towards uh, turn out? There's a message to, as well, embrace those around you, right? That's landing on the healing uh, mystic healer card. Uh, it's a time of great spiritual growth, making it even more important to surround yourself with only those who love and share your beliefs. Be willing to accept help from others, for you could find comfort in traditional solutions, or your heart may long to try out new ideas. And that's why Spirit's saying, take action, for we're going to give you the strength in the actions position to expand your horizons, to grow and evolve, to experience uh, greater things in your life. So embrace like-minded people or people who would be interested in what you have to offer at this time because we have the popular eight of action or wands coming in, things speeding up, right? Expanding one's horizons closer to the 21st, maybe even around the full moon of the 22nd of June where you're going to feel strong enough. Uh, even though you're overwhelmed, uh, spirit sane, uh, it's going to be wonderful to be busy doing what it is that you love, right? You're savoring your life after an in-between moment of rest and prayer and hope. Remember to express gratitude for the blessings that heaven is bringing in that will take up your time, even if things feel challenged, challenging. And in some cases, if you're asked to travel, do so with confidence. So for some, Spirit's just giving you the strength to rest, relax, and prepare. Because uh, when the call to action comes, uh, Spirit's saying, embrace that. Even if it's feeling overwhelming, uh, do it anyway. <clears throat> There's a successful completion with that 21 energy of the world card. A time of incredible accomplishments where you're going to feel justified in that energy of joy. There's, there'll be a sense of completion and pride in the amazing job you have done. Soon, some are going to be taking a new journey, but for now, Spirit is saying, bask in the happiness of your dreams that are unfolding. Shout to the heavens when this good news of money arrives. And we have letting go because successful completion to one path quick and that calls for quick and unexpected action um, will, of course, involve a successful completion to an old path. And that I'm getting on the 21st and that 21 is jumping out at me. So I think June 21st, there's going to be this awareness that uh, things have come to a successful completion and now you can expand or you are just naturally expanding and and you're just enjoying what's unfolding for you. Letting go of one business or organization or going into the direction of something way more abundant and successful. Look at right behind the palace of coins. We have the nine of coins and the star card. All right, so should these messages have resonated for you in some way and you have further questions about your own personal journey and or would just like a general reading, feel free to write me for a personal reading via my email, which is josiek42 at gmail.com. I offer four one-half-hour video readings, and they are a one-month 
three month, six month or yearly reading and my price list will be in the box below this video along with the beautiful comment section. I am still offering the spring special which is a 15 minute one month video reading for just $25 if you'd like to give that a try. So thank you so very much for your likes, your shares and those subscribes but most importantly I want to say a super big thank you to those of you who have continued to donate to this channel to keep it up and running day to day. Take care and God bless.